When we think of forensic science, we might think of blood, DNA, finger marks, tool marks, those sorts of things. And digital forensics concerns the evidence type of digital data. And we know we get digital data from digital devices, technologies, and from a range of different places. So digital forensics is all about how we look at this technology, these devices, and how do we get the data from it? How do we understand that data? How do we interpret it? And how do we communicate it in a way that makes it understandable for those that need to rely upon this information from these devices if we believe they've been involved in a particular incident or an, an offence, for example. By 2024, they're estimating that 99% of households will have at least one mobile phone, the vast majority of households have at least one computer or tablet, and so much activity is now being conducted online or with computers that simply wouldn't have been possible 30 years ago. Uh, it just means that, that there is more, more human activity um, is being conducted online or on computers, which means that there is a, a, an opportunity for digital forensics to capture criminal activity. Um, and it's only going to get more so as, as we integrate all our everyday systems and devices, um, for example, the Internet of Things and, and, and sort of the, the uh, integrated wireless home becomes more of a thing the opportunities for evidential information being collected from those environments is just growing exponentially. So it, it's something that's just going to get more important as time goes on. We know now that in 90% plus cases, digital evidence will be a feature and they will need to gather it and interpret it and it will support them with their inquiries. So digital forensics for law enforcement is a crucial, important aspect of their ability to investigate crime. But it's not just the public sector where digital forensics has a role. If we think about the private sector, then anywhere where technology is involved, there's likely gonna be at some point incidents that require some form of investigation or inquiry into those incidents. So uh, incident response, the ability to identify, collect information and make sense of it in a digital sense um, is an important skill set. As a digital forensic practitioner, you're going to need to have two types of skill sets, one that is analytical and one that is communication skills. So the communication skills are really important because in your everyday life you're going to work with really complex devices and complex cases. So you need to be able to simplify all of that for people who don't have your specialization and don't have your knowledge and need your expertise to make decisions down the line. So we recognise that the field of digital forensics is moving at a fast pace. It concerns technology and technology developments are happening all of the time. There is a need for continued professional development within the field of digital forensics. You just cannot stand still because technology and its capability will surpass you in that process.